Hi everyone, konnichiwa and welcome to JLCC Cooking. Today we're going to be showing you how to cook a Japanese style boxed curry. Any protein works, but today we're going to be making a chicken curry. What every curry does need though is a carrot, a medium sized onion or two, and some potatoes. You can very optionally include some garlic for some garlic flavor and a habanero pepper for some additional heat. And of course, the star of the show, the boxed roux. You can find this stuff in basically any grocery store and it has a multitude of spices as well as some apple and yogurt to mellow and balance out the flavors. Now, using your best 80s action movie CGI knife skills, you're going to want to cut the peeled carrots and chicken into medium-sized pieces. Remember to keep the carrots pretty small because otherwise they're going to be too hard to eat. On the other hand, you're going to want to cut your potatoes and onions into relatively big chunks if you don't want them to turn too mush while you simmer your curry. Add the chicken to the pot and with the magic of editing, watch them instantly cook. From there, you can add in the rest of your vegetables. And this is a perfect time to talk about just how versatile curry is. You can pretty much add any protein or vegetable you want, with seasonal vegetables like eggplant, asparagus, or even sweet potatoes being fairly popular additions. We have kept it fairly simple today, but when you're trying this recipe out on your own, remember that this recipe is just a canvas for you to paint your delicious brown painting on. After you've added everything to the pot, cover it with water or stock and let it reach a gentle simmer before covering and setting aside. Meanwhile, you're going to want to make rice. You know how it goes. Wash the rice using cold water until the water runs clear. Cover with water according to the instructions, and after fumbling around with your rice cooker, looking for the button, set it to cook. Add your broken up curry roux to the boiling pot about 10 minutes before your rice is done cooking, and after a while, you will be greeted with rich, spicy, sweet smells from your pot of curry. Serve with white rice on your favorite plate and enjoy awkwardly while your friends behind the camera laugh at you. Itadakimasu! <laughs> <laughs>